Welcome, my name's Ethan02 and in this video I want to explain a bit about reprocessing in EVE Online, how this game mechanic works and afterwards how the Adam for EVE website can help make a profit of it. First off I'll explain reprocessing within the EVE Online client and then second move on to the reprocessing details page of Adam for Eve and explain that. Next I'll go into the reprocessing profitability ranking page of Adam for Eve and how to use this page for making profit. And at the end I'll do some live examples. So let's get started. I'm sitting here with my character in the Jita Trade Hub and I've got a few modules in my hangar. Now these modules have been built by players and by combining different materials here for a Tech 1 afterburner, um, there's the minerals, uh, Tritanium, Pyrite, Mexalon and Noxium um, that have been combined in the shown uh, quantities in order to create that Tech 1 um, afterburner. So that's manufacturing. So what's reprocessing? Reprocessing is exactly the reverse. Disassembling the afterburner in order to get the materials back. So if you can compare this, going forward again, you see uh, 708 uh, Tritanium, 643 Pyrite. If we go back to the module itself and in the industry tab uh, into reprocessing, then you see these exact numbers. Now, of course, it would be fabulous uh, if we get uh, exact that amount that we've put in uh, back out, but that, of course, is not the case. Um, if we go onto the item, right click and select the reprocess option, then you see um, that we've got two modules in there. However, we're getting exactly the, uh, the, the minerals of one module. Now, why is that? This is because of the reprocessing yield. So my character doesn't have any special uh, training and skills, no implants, and is in an NPC station. Therefore, a the, the normal basis standard uh, reprocessing yield of 50% applies. So I will get only 50% of the materials out that uh, are needed in order to build that module. <clears throat> so that basically is reprocessing. You take an item, you can tear it apart in order to get the ingredients uh, back out. Um, you always will have a loss um, dependent on your skills, implants and uh, the station you're in. Um, <coughs> furthermore, um, you'll have to pay a small fee dependent um, again in what station you're doing this. So in an NPC station you will always be paying a fee, however if you're doing this in a player's station, so a, a structure, um, then you might not pay anything at all. So uh, it can be of benefit of doing reprocessing in a player structure. Another thing that is important is that um, you might not get, so you don't get fractions of materials back. 
if we look up the tech 2 afterburner here um, again let's look at what's needed in order to build it so we go on the blueprint uh, and look at the required input materials uh, in order to build uh, a tech 2 afterburner with this blueprint uh, you see you need one tech 1 uh, afterburner we've seen uh, that this one needs minerals um, you need to add plasma thrusters ion thrusters antimatter reactor units uh, to the mix and one more fight if we go back again to the reprocessing you see you get the minerals back from the tech one that you've put into um, the manufacturing process and all the additional uh, ingredients that you needed for tech two so that's all good so far however if you go then to reprocess and look what you're getting out again with 50 percent uh, yield um, you can hover uh, over the different uh, result materials and you see how much you're losing so again 7 at 8 um, tritanium has gone in in order to build uh, the tech 2 afterburner um, with a 50% yield uh, you get only 354 out so that's all good However, here you see more fight. You've put one more fight in. In fifty percent would be zero point five more fight. Um, that's not possible. Therefore, you get zero more fight out. Same is here with the plasma thrusters. Um, three divided by two, uh, so fifty percent uh, is one point five, um, which is not possible. Therefore, you only get one out uh, and not one point five. So you've got a loss here um, to the ideal amount of materials that you would get out. Now, if you take two Tech 2 afterburners and reprocess them, you'll see you get now the Morphite out. Uh, because uh, ideally you will get two more fights, you get 50%, so that's one more fight. So now you've got the optimal amount in order to get um, all result materials out that you would get at 50%. Same applies for the plasma thrusters. Um, six would be in total for two, uh, therefore you get th uh, three out. So that you need to keep in mind that dependent on your reprocessing yield, um, you need to uh, adjust the number of modules to reprocess in order to get the optimal um, return. Also important is that this only works if the modules are stacked. So I've just unstacked them. I've got two individuals, so two times one um, afterburner. You would think that uh, now uh, this would be the same result, but it is not. You don't get the morphite out. Uh, you get only two plasma thrusters since the 50% is applied to each item individually. So be careful about that. Always stack um, the modules um, or the products that you want to reprocess. Good. So that's about reprocessing within the EVE Online client. How does Adam Fareev help you with that reprocessing game mechanic? Let's look at the website. You can access the Adam for Eve website by the URL adamforeve.eu and the reprocessing tools there are in the industry category of the menu. We select reprocessing and it, it loads an example um, directly uh, and now I'll explain how this page works. So at the very top, uh, you can select uh, any different item uh, that you want to, to look at uh, by just uh, 
starting to type and then it gives you a list of items that can be reprocessed. We will currently stick with uh, the default here um, in oops in this tab um, you can select the pr where the prices should be pulled from so you can select between the different trade hubs uh, Jita is the default one but you can also uh, use any region um, that would you like uh, so if you're in black rice for example you just uh, type rice and then select black rice in order for the website to select prices from, from black rice also regarding prices um, it calculates the profit um, and also um, calculates uh, how much taxes you have to pay in order to buy uh, the product so um, for that it needs your personal broker fee uh, amount and uh, the sales tax amount so the broker fee is applied if you list a buy order or a sell order and the sales tax is applied uh, for both if you um, issue a sell order uh, or if you sell directly uh, to a buy order um, this may change regarding to your standing uh, as well as uh, the location where you are or if you're in a player uh, structure or in an NPC station with show me you apply uh, those values um, and this updates then the chart below and the chart below shows you the product here on the left um, in this case the Tengu core electronic efficiency gate that we want to reprocess um, currently we're reprocessing only one um, and you see the value in Jita at the current uh, moment so the lowest sell order um, would sell it to me for uh, 11 mil and uh, the highest buy order would buy it uh, for 8.2 and it has a volume of uh, 40 uh, square meters cubic meters so that's the input into the real reprocessing if we then go into the reprocessing reprocessing black box um, and there you can enter your personal yield uh, that you have again this yield can be influenced by skills um, and by implants and by the station itself then this page shows you the output that you'll get from this um, so uh, in this case you get uh, six different uh, materials um, however um, and that's why this is a good example uh, you only effectively get one material you see all the others is zero so for each material um, it is shown what will you really get what you will you get out and what is lost uh, since it's a fraction and uh, Eve doesn't give you a fraction of a item um, so for all these top five uh, materials you get exactly zero and you lose 0 0.5 of that which in this case is very hurting because the most valuable ingredient ingredient is the neurovisual output analyzer um, which 0 0.5 of that uh, already has a cell value of uh, 7 mil so you only get uh, the optimized nano engines which are quite cheap um, and uh, which have a value of uh, 1.3 the site then also gives you a uh, recommendation of the optimal batch size so since we've got a yield of 55 percent uh, 50 percent um, the optimal batch size would be two 
So if we, you can adjust this either by uh, the quantity, either by entering it directly or using the arrows, arrow keys. So if I use arrow up, um, we have two tango cores and now we have the optimal amount. You see that the lost um, rows are gone or are not read anymore and uh, we get an output of all materials. And also you see that the value has significantly changed. So this last box on the right shows uh, that all of uh, these materials uh, flow into this total box. Um, so the total cell value, if I would sell all these materials that I get out, if I repros two Tango Core er electronic efficiency gates, um, I would get out uh, 21 mil, uh, which is 700k less than I would have paid um, if I if I had bought it at sell value. Um, the buy value, so if I want to immediately sell it to buy orders in JITA would be um, 12,500, um, which obviously is uh, even, even less uh, profitable. Um, this value down here compares the buy value of the input product against the buy value uh, of the end materials. Um, what would make a uh, profit uh, and what we'll see in the profit ranking um, is if you buy it at buy value, so 16.5 and sell it at sell value of the materials at 21.2 uh, mil. So you make a four, uh, four mil profit. Also, it might be interesting um, if you have this in um, null sack or uh, somewhere unsafe and you want to transport it, um, what the volume, how the volume has changed. Um, and you see here that uh, uh, at the beginning, this is 80 uh, cubic meters. And in the end, we have 95. So the volume has actually increased uh, by reprocessing um, those Tengu cores. So if you want to transport it, uh, not, not a good thing. Uh, however, for other materials, uh, other products, if you reprocess them, uh, then they might get uh, significantly smaller. This is uh, especially true for X-large uh, modules or capital uh, modules, um, which are huge. Um, and the materials are a lot smaller. This page also provides uh, a lot of lots of links. Uh, so if you click on the product names, for example, let's take the efficiency gate, um, then you'll uh, be directed to the um, commodity details where you can see the price history, the volume, uh, traded, etc., etc., uh, in order to check on the history. Um, if you click on the prices, um, uh, for example, the 22 mil um, for two uh, Tango cores, then you'll be directed to the order viewer where you can see, okay, so. Uh, 11 mil, uh, that are the current orders. It's not the only order, there's uh, quite a few orders. How does, how's the uh, order depth chart? Uh, so how many can I buy at about uh, that price? Um, so which would be 65 if you are willing to spend 11.2 uh, mil um, each and buy as well. So you see there's a very steep uh, rise um, up to um, yeah 7.9. So you've got a direct link here if you uh, click on the prices. Um, if you need help on this page 
there's up here the help screenshot so if you click on that um, you get all fields uh, explained um, yeah and if you have any questions and uh, can't remember what exactly that field is like um, again within this field uh, just for playing uh, you can use the arrow keys up and down and then the values are dynamically adjusted so if we take 50, 55 as reprocessing <coughs> and then go up here uh, you see how uh, this changes good so this gives uh, quite a good representation how the reprocessing chain works what you put in what's the value of you uh, what you put in uh, and what you get out out exactly and what is the value uh, of what you get out next up is the reprocessing profitability again you access it by the industry category in the menu and oops, selecting reprocessing profitability there we are now this page calculates um, yeah well as the title says the profitability of reprocessing across all reprocessable modules and uh, does this in different categories so the important part here are these last three columns and I'll get into that uh, in a second um, the reprocessing yield um, is different for ores and uh, well for others so modules etc there are uh, lots more skills uh, to um, improve the reprocessing rate for ores therefore there's two different values for you to set the reprocessing yield uh, that your character in EVE Online has and these values are used um, if the uh, product is in one of both um, categories same as in the details page um, you can select the price source you can set, set the taxes that you have to pay and uh, here by default there is a filter uh, so if we scroll down here there's uh, always something green in one of these columns so one profitability column uh, yeah column is always green and all all items that have a negative value across all three categories these are not shown and you can already see the list is quite extensive um, if you want to see really all items which is a really large list uh, then you can check this box and uh, click show me and then the whole list uh, will be loaded same as always help uh, a help screenshot with explaining the different uh, categories uh, the different fields and elements of the page is available here as well and this video uh, will be linked up here now let's look at the table itself which is the interesting part so first column the commodity of course um, and if you click on that on the name then you're directed to the details page of that product um, then you've got the uh, buy and sell price of uh, that product important here is the portion size so for a few um, products there is a specific portion size if we um, sort by this so clicking uh, up here on the uh, column headers uh, you can sort um, you see that uh, in order to reprocess Nova Javelin torpedoes you obviously need uh, 5,000 of this for um, this ore um, you need 100 at least in order to be able to reprocess it 
and the price here is uh, so the sell price of one unit multiplied by the portion so normally if we go I don't know uh, we had a sorting here um, if we go back to the normal default sorting um, then this will be the, be the price of one unit so take note of the portion amount then we've got value sell orders um, if you hover uh, across the column headers um, there will be a tooltip uh, again helping uh, to explain um, value sell orders means how many in this case uh, strong frantics booster can I buy at this price plus five percent so 23.5 mil plus five percent and how many can I buy um, at that price and this is not the quantity this is the ISK value because it shows you how much um, yeah how much uh, is can you acquire um, at that price and uh, in the last columns you get the profit percentage and therefore you can calculate okay is it worth the trouble or is it not worth the trouble so here you can have 2.3 billion uh, invest 2.3 billion um, in order to buy uh, these boosters at this price and um, yeah make these profits next column is sell to buys this is an estimate that Adam for Eve does Adam for Eve pulls uh, every 10 minutes the order books um, so the market orders and compares the um, the differences and uh, from these differences it uh, calculates um, how many uh, buy uh, so how many buy orders changed uh, and therefore how many sells to buy orders have been done um, this is important or is a good indicator in order to see uh, for example here you see there's a big difference between the buy price and the sell price um, and uh, obviously therefore you would say oh okay I'll put a buy order in at 10 mil uh, in order to pay um, less than half uh, for these boosters well this gives an indication that per day Adam for Eve has only seen one sell to a buy order so there's not a lot of volume uh, that's going to go into your buy order um, again this is only an estimate um, Adam for Eve doesn't catch all trades that are going on um, therefore uh, it's only an indicator next up num uh, which is the number of result materials that you'll get as we've seen for this booster um, two result materials if we go into the details you see mega site and uh, another booster uh, you'll get out so exactly two um, which might be important uh, if you don't want to handle so there's some that have really huge so 16 uh, result materials if you don't want to handle that much um, then uh, this gives you an indicator to avoid it uh, next up then the value of the result materials at buy price at the selected um, so and it's also noted here at the selected uh, market um, and the sell value and then we've got the sellability um, which is supposed to show you how easy is it to sell the amount of result materials uh, that you get out um, for one item uh, within one day in the given uh, in Jita so is that's important um, this sellability is always Jita um, and that's an important part because again if we go to the booster um, 
and if we go to the profitability you would see okay I've got um, I buy it at 23 mil and the sell value is glorious 12, 12 billion so I, I'd make a 52,000 uh, percent profit well that's great so let's do this let's get rich quick well problem is sellability is empty you won't be able to sell this um, because uh, the, the the trade amount if you, if you go into this uh, you see what's driving the the value is the pure strong frantics booster which has a sell value of 11 billion um, of course you would need to sell two uh, in order to really get uh, that um, because you would have a, a loss uh, here of 0 0.5 but uh, well at least you get uh, five out of the out of it you would only make a loss of 10 percent 11 billion is good enough um, but the sellability column indicates that you won't really be able to make that profit because if we click then on the name and go to the uh, details you see it's nothing that's really being traded uh, at least in Jita um, also if you uh, look here there's a sell amount of three which is really low and within August, July, June CCP didn't register any trades of it only in um, yeah in April uh, some trades uh, have taken place um, so this is you you won't be able to sell it and that's exactly what the sellability uh, column um, indicates if it's empty no chance within the last uh, last weeks no trade has taken place um, if it's below 100 difficult uh, to get rid of it um, if it's above uh, 100 yeah will work um, so let's let's see this uh, oh, it's got eight uh, result materials we won't look at that uh, yeah but let, let's look at the synthesis there booster um, so it has a 70 uh, percent um, probability again uh, it's the pure thins pure booster uh, that drives the the value um, and if we look at that uh, then we have some sales um, with a significant volume 510 yeah so that's the one that that uh, uh, let's just remove remove this there uh, so there's at least some trades uh, going on where you might be able uh, to sell uh, the end product but of course best is uh, this uh, 9999 so 99k uh, um, this is always an indicator that it's uh, it's materials uh, no uh, minerals uh, that you get out uh, if you take ultraviolet L um, yep it's all min minerals and at that amount uh, it's easy to sell uh, these minerals so that's sellability and then we've got the profit columns um, S minus B is you buy from a sell order the product so if we again take the the booster here you buy at 23 uh, million uh, from a sell order immediately um, and you sell to a to a buy order so also immediately so this is immediate profit if it is profit you can immediately buy from a sell order and you can immediately sell the result to a buy order obviously here no profit 100% uh, loss because you've bought 23 mil and you've sold for 2k bad deal um, next column S minus S you again you buy from sell order and you sell at sell price in this example huge profit 
if you're able to sell it really at that price. And B minus S is buy at buy price. So you put in a buy order and wait that somebody uh, sells to your buy order and then you sell at a sell price. So you put in the sell order and wait that somebody buys the stuff off from you. So these are the three different uh, categories. Um, the first one, instant return. The second one, well, you have to put up a, a sell order and wait until it sells. Uh, so takes a bit of time and effort. And the last column is always the highest profit, but also the uh, more, uh, yeah, you've got to take care of the buy orders, you've got to take care of the sell orders, uh, tend to them, uh, so the most work. Good, let's then look at uh, some real examples and uh, try to make uh, some profit. <coughs> Let's uh, do some instant profit. Um, obviously, I'm not taking the uh, mini, mono mini monolith <coughs> since um, I won't uh, get it sold um, uh, within this video. Um, but uh, well, let's take this uh, Scout Accelerator uh, cannons that we already looked at. Um, so we would buy this at 350 and we'd try uh, to get a uh, 388 out of it, which is a 10% uh, profit, which is not huge. Um, but well, what can you do? So let's take this, let's go here. Uh, let's go into the market. Paste search. There we have them, and we're uh, at 349k. So let's start small. Um, we'll look at the at uh, our wallet, uh, which is at 27.3 mil uh, here, and let's buy 40 40. Uh, off this guy for 14 mil. There we have him. We then reprocess them. Um, as you've seen, 14. Uh, we've paid 14 mil. It says here already that 14.2 uh, uh, would be uh, the result uh, at this miserable uh, yield. Uh, furthermore. Now, just for sake of this uh, this uh, video, um, I sell it uh, immediately here, or I reprocess it immediately here at Jita and pay this 500k uh, fee. Um, if you want to optimize, you'd move this now to a player structure and reprocess for free. So let's reprocess. There we are. And let's now sell. Again, if you'd uh, want to be uh, to optimize, uh, you wouldn't sell for 6.39. Now you would put a sell order up for 668. Um, but we're going to sell immediately and therefore uh, take immediately in order to uh, not have the broker fee. Uh, so here you see if you if I put up a sell order, uh, I'd have a broker fee of 200k. Uh, if I do immediately, that broker fee goes away. I've got a sell tax, sales tax on this character of 2% in Jita, since I've got no standing. Um, so 130k um, will be lost for me. But nevertheless, let's sell and sell and. Sell. Sell, and sell, and sell, and sell, and also get rid of this. Okay, there we are. Now, 
where does this, does this leave us? Uh, let's look at the time. Okay, so we started with 27 uh, mil, 27.3 mil by buying uh, this stuff. And we're now at 28.1 mil. So mm, 800, 800k profit within one minute. Um, which may be much which may be uh, nothing uh, dependent on where you are in your uh, well, uh, worth, um, isk worth uh, within EVE. Uh, but if you're an alpha uh, character and are just starting uh, starting uh, EVE, um, this can be quite a good uh, opportunity to quickly gain uh, some million of isk. Um, furthermore, uh, if you look at the, if you look at the ranking uh, regularly, you'll see some opportunities. Uh, there's often people that lower their sell uh, price just above the buy price in order to get their buy orders filled. And if you then scoop those up and reprocess them, you can uh, quite often make quite a good profit. Well, that's it for this video for explaining reprocessing and the two new uh, reprocessing tools uh, from Adam for Eve. I hope this uh, video was helpful. Um, if you think that Adam for Eve itself uh, is a helpful page, uh, then please uh, give feedback uh, if you encounter any bugs um, give uh, feedback in order to get them fixed uh, you can do that either in the forums link uh, down here or uh, you can catch me on discord or slack uh, information is in the imprint or on twitter uh, itself and if you feel that uh, this page is helpful to you, that you're making profit of it, that maybe you can uh, plex your account and don't have to spend uh, dollars or euros or whatever um, into your subscription, then you might want to throw me um, a tip on Patreon in order to keep me motivated creating this page. Thank you very much and talk to you later. Bye bye.